Hi there, I'm Coach Amanda, and this is my best pal, Logan. Welcome to Fruit Tip Tuesday again. If you're watching us on our new YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave some comments for us. We'd love to hear your suggestions for any other Food Tip Tuesdays. And if you like our shirts, Logan, where do we get these awesome shirts? We shall defend.com. We shall defend.com. Welcome to Food Tip Tuesday. Today, we are tackling holiday meals and the most true traditional parts of the holiday meal that are not quite mm. healthy, but we always want to incorporate are the gravy and the stuffing. So this is part one of my two part series on holiday hacks. Today we are going to make the bone broth gravy. This is a super simple, they call it a five minute gravy. I'd give yourself a little bit longer than that, but it doesn't have too many ingredients in it. It starts off with a little bit of ghee in your pan. Then you add in just a little bit of flour, equal parts of those two things. I used, uh, I think it was about a tablespoon of each because, you know, with the quarantine, everyone, we're only allowed to have 10 people in our house for the holidays, so you don't need that much this year. <laughs> so I'm making um, enough for about four people. So it was a tablespoon of ghee and a tablespoon of flour. We whisk that up on the stove, just like that, actually. And then we stirred in a little bit of thyme and about eight ounces of bone broth. Why bone broth and not just chicken broth or chicken stock? Bone broth has great micronutrients in it that are, things include like collagen, that's great for your hair, skin, and nails. Um, calcium is good for your bones. But I'm gonna go into detail more about that in another episode of Food Tip Tuesday and how you can make your own bone broth at home. But with holiday cooking, we're gonna keep it simple and buy the best quality bone broth that we can in the grocery store with the minimalist ingredients. So we're whisking all of that up, add just a dash of salt and pepper to taste, and you just cook it until it's the thickness of the gravy that you like. Do you wanna give it a little try? It's right here. This is our bone broth, bone broth gravy. Do you wanna try just a tiny bit? That much, just that much, ready? Okay, you can do it. <laughs> this is something that you can make ahead, store in the fridge for a few days, or even freeze this for a couple of months and it will still be great. Just a tiny, tiny, all right, I made it even less. All right, I don't think he wants to try. Only 20,000 stars. <laughs> but I promise that you will love it. Well, I can't promise that, can I? I hope that you'll like it. And we'll see you again next week on Food Tip Tuesday. Yay! Yay. It's the first time I never tried something. Thanks for not trying oh. my gravy.